So this is my car, Toyota Corolla, and you can see the backlight is uh, uh, have an accident, and it's broken, as you can see. Okay, and I want to replace it. So what I did, I actually purchased from Amazon. Let me show you a new light. Okay. So this is the new light I purchased from Amazon, and it cost me like uh, around $40. Uh, if you compare it with, if you want to buy it from Toyota, it will cost you like uh, two or three hundred dollars. So it's worth it. But let me show you now how I'm going to replace it. So the first thing I have to do, I have to remove this cover, you see. And there is kind of a screw here, a clip. I have to use a screwdriver. And just starting removing it, it's not a bit difficult to do it. And as you can see, it's been released easily. So this is the part that actually I release now. I'm releasing my part, I just want to remove to see what's going on. As you can see, there is an electrical here cable connected. We probably have to release it also. And there is a nut here that I will have to release and to remove uh, the light here, the broken light. So this is the light here. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to actually to remove this uh, tape here that I put. If you look at here, I can see another screw. There's one, two, and I believe another one there. So first I have to remove this screw. Okay. So I'm removing the screws. It's only two screws, as you can see, it's already going out, and you can see what's going on here. See, so these are two screws, I'm going to put them in a safe place. So just push it, and you can see it's been removed. And that was broken before when the accident happened. Here's another thing that's broken. So we're going to fix all of it now, and we're going to put the new light but before we're going to do we have to remove release these see these cables coming here we have to really release it by okay so if you look at here on this uh, new light you can see there is a cable it is coming with what you really want to do you want to release the cable of the old one from the connector that is the connector here okay and it's only have two holes here okay that's for the screws that we actually release now there is another two pins here, okay, that are going inside. It's one pin here, was broken from the old one, and there's another one here. So I'm going to take care now of all of that. Just clean the area where is the broken stuff here, and we're going to put that one. But before we're doing it, we have to release the connection. Let me show you how I'm doing it. Okay, so now you see this point, we have to remove it, and it's actually removed very easily. Okay, so now when we actually here, there is a clip here. You can see that one? This kind of a pin or something, you have to actually press it down. It has to be released from here. And the way to do it is like that. So we did it perfectly by pressing this. You see that one? Just press it here. And now we need to push it out. Okay, so you see that stuff, there is a, like a rubber clamp here, so I have to take it, push it down. Okay, force it down. Force it down, and then, voila. And now you can go and sell it on Amazon as a second hand part if you want. For one dollar, nobody will pay you even that one. So they actually put it here. Remember, there is a light here, all of them work. If the new one won't work, we can replace it, but just put it here now for a second. So what I'm doing here, you see that part left from, from before, I'm just going to unscrew the, the nuts in the back, you don't see it, I'm unscrew it now, remove it, and I need it, but I need this, I need this uh, nuts. This nut I need, so I will keep it here with me now. There is another one here, that's the, okay, that's okay now, so that's what we need, but this one we have to release, and we're going to use 
our intuition to remove it was very easy. So that's the one that actually removed. This one you can actually throw it to the garbage. So okay, this is the, the light we're actually going to put it back to his location. That's the new one. Okay, so the first thing we're going to put, we're going to put the connection. Okay, so the connection will go until here. I'm not going to push it in. Just want to put it like that. You see this rubber? I want to put it like that. And now what I want to do, I want to actually put this screw here. Okay. And if you're coming back here, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect it. Okay. Push it like this. And then, I don't know if you're using the right side, if it's the right side, and just click it in. It's clicked, okay? Now you can see what's happening here. This is going here. You really don't want to get it out because then you can, then the, you need to protect this rubber, protect the line really. So it should be inside here, okay? So now what we're going to do, we're going to actually just take the nuts and just put it back here. So what we still we actually removing the nuts from here. That's the first thing I'm going to put. So I'm removing the nuts and the washer. It's actually nuts come with the washer. And I'm going to put it back. Can I show you where it is? Okay, so the nuts is here with me. You can see these nuts have a washer. It's come with a washer. Just take it here. Okay. And now I can use a fire after that. Okay, to enforce it, but before we're going to do, we're going to check the light, if the light is on. Okay, my son is there, he's actually going to try to see if the light is on and off. Okay, press brakes! Huh? Press the brakes! Right. Okay, now, the, ex the emergency light. Okay, turn on the light also, all the light now, turn on the light. So as you can see, as you can see, it's working perfectly. And now we can actually close this light. Okay, so what we want to do now, we want to put the screws in their location. Okay, the first thing you want to do, you want to actually really attach it strongly. See, that's the first one. Okay, and that's the second one, I just put it here. And I'm just close it a little bit tight, a little bit tight this one. Okay, and here there is another, this is the nuts here, you see. And I'm going to tighten it with a... Okay, so it's okay. So if you see here from half, from top, you can see a space. That's very important to press it like that and start really lock it. Otherwise, water will go in. So that's a very important. Okay, that's one. And from here, continue a little bit more. Okay, so what you want to achieve really, you want to achieve a really complete field and you're going to achieve it. Okay, that's done. So the last stuff is actually just to close this cover and be done. That's it. So this is the way the backlight look after I fix it. It's still missing here a panel, but I'm going also to buy it uh, probably on Amazon and it's, it costs like $3.